All right, folks. Hey, Jason here again. Um, I make a lot of videos, so I don't know if I'm my last one. I call myself Mr. Hancock or Jason, but for y'all, I'm Jason, obviously. So, okay. The one I just did was on how to use the Blackboard or what the really kind of like what the Blackboard instructor app looks like, how to get around, what to expect from it and things like that. It was very quick, very simple. This one should be the same. I simply just want to do these videos to show you, hey, this is what it looks like. If this is what you see, good. That's what you should be seeing. You're not missing anything. You're not or anything like that. We're seeing the same thing. So what does it look like from the student view? Let's take a look. So here we are. Um, before I showed you the bottom right corner for instructor, that's for the instructor. Your students will download this one right here in the bottom right that has a pencil in it, blue with a pencil. That's the instructor app, okay? So when they click into it, they will first they'll be prompted to put their school in and their username and password. Uh, then it will link them to their account in Blackboard. So when they go in, all of their Blackboard classes will be lined out here. Of course, for me, the only thing that I have in my account that's visible is this advising, this advising shell with Zach as the instructor. So looking here, your students will see your class just like that and all their other classes. So what do they look like on their part? What can they do? So it's, it's good to know this. So when you start to put this stuff together, how does it come across to them? So when we click into that, here we are. Right at the top, it says current grade. That right there is their grade book. So they should be able to click this and go straight to their grades. Of course, I don't have any grades yet, but there it is. All of their grades will be showing up there. If you have a percentage column, if you have a total column, all that stuff will show up. It's very nice and clean. I don't mind that at all. So there we are. Just keep in mind, there are things about the grade book that, you know, if you don't, with Blackboard, it's just general with Blackboard. If you don't put a grade into a spot, say they miss an assignment, and you don't put a grade into it, it will not calculate into the grade. So it'll still show that it's just never been graded. But it, it, well, it, you'll have to put a zero if they miss it, point being. So anyway, I can help you more with that later. Anyway, you have a doodads column, then your course material. All right, and obviously the information, your instructor at the bottom. So there's your announcements tab, and you click that. That shows all their announcements that they get. Course content, we'll look at that in a second. They have an access to collaborate. Like I was saying for the instructor, they can click collaborate, and they can join a room. If you've already created a room, the room will be there ready for you. Now, discussion items, same thing there. There we are. If you create a discussion item, it will be there, okay? If you create anything, it will show up in these columns. So whether it be a, a wiki, a journal, um, a blog, you name it, discussion board, it will be there. Now, course content. Let's click this. Of course, as I said before, when they click this button, this does not bring up your course content page. This brings the left side of the, of the Blackboard page on a regular computer screen, your table of contents, the column information on the left, all right, that'll have your faculty information, syllabus links, stuff like that. So obviously for this, if I were to click into the advising shell on my laptop, this would be the, um, the left-hand column um, list of information, okay? So you can see there's a link to advising manuals, quick, you know, all this information, okay? Another link to discussions and so on, okay? So everything that you have, everything that you need is accessible from this point. So let's just say I'm gonna click advising manual. Your nine items, here are the modules, all right? So there we go, and it will take you into these direct modules. Let's go to module one, five items. And we can open one of those up. Obviously, this looks kinda of old. But one thing I want you to see here, this is where it gets a little crazy for students. And I have a document on this or a link for this that I will post in the Blackboard Faculty Help Desk. But there are some items that are, uh, that will, um, I can't really remember the, the exact word they use, but it works. It is, there's a place for it. It actually works through the app. And sometimes there are things that do not work through the app and it will link directly to, say, a browser view, as you can see with this. See, it's just kind of a big mess. It looks kind of nasty, doesn't it? And that's how that works. So this is what we have to be aware of. What works like this? What doesn't work like this? What kind of assignments can I expect them to do? What will cause them problems and be a little confusing? Like I said, I'm going to post um, a, a web page from Blackboard itself that discusses types of, act, you know, parts of the actual app that do this. 
And then what's some, what are some stuff that does stay within the app itself, okay? But once you're in here, if you the students like this, they can actually see it's kind of a mess. Look at that. See, now I can see it all again. Now I'm actually working through what the app looks like or what, the, what it looks like through a browser instead, you see? And all of that. And when I'm done with that, I can just go right back up here. I can move back and forth at the bottom here by clicking the forward and back, refresh. But the top is the left, the left top is the X. I X that out, I'll go back to the app, okay, to the module. So what are those things? I'll have a post in the faculty help desk on what those are, what you can do for those. Anyway, I want to show you that's how it looks on the student side of it all. Um, of course, if you have any questions, you need help, let me know. And um, we'll get that going as best we can. And we'll finish out the semester. Um, that's our main goal, I think, right now, is to su be successful through this semester, get through, but make sure we get through accomplishing our goal and uh, hitting our objectives and outcomes and, uh, and helping our students finish. So if you need anything, y'all holler at me. I'll talk to you later.